This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their AP Computer Science Principles course. Let's see what we're doing. Moving memory. Try another. Click through to see a new problem provided in the starter code. A reminder of the rules here. Shit blocks. A reminder of the rules and example all below if you need a sneak peek. Goals. Set the value of the variables to make the console log statement display what it's supposed to. Rules. You can only add lines of code that reassign values of variables provided. You may only use assignment equals an arithmetic. Right? You may not type or introduce any numbers. You may not change or alter the console log statement. Uh, they put a lot of caveats. They don't want you just to like, oh, okay, why? Ooh, nine. Look, I did it. That's what they're saying. All right. So we can only use math and equal signs. That's what they want from us. All right. So code provided. The code you were given variable initialization to some values. Yep, seven. Yep. The last line should be a console log statement with a comment indicating the value that is expected. So we expect four. What are we getting right now? Uh, we get three. Okay. And then they have a possible solution. Oh, so see how they're not adding numbers though, right? You can't add numbers. You have to use equals plus minus in your variables. So here's what we have. Okay. I'm going to switch to text mode and start typing code. So if they want me to get four, they want y to be equal to four. Well, right now y is equal to three. So I have the numbers three and seven. How could I get four? Well, three times three is nine. Seven times seven is 49. So obviously neither of those are giving us four. Well, think about subtraction. Seven minus three is four. Now we can't type numbers. So I need a new value for my y right, because that's what we're putting out, y is going to get the new value. Now, how can I get this value? I can't type 7, but what I could do is x minus y, right, because x means, oh, 7 minus y, which is right now equal to 3, so y gets the new value of 3. Let's give that a shot the new value of 4, right? Because 7 minus 3 is 4, and 4 is what we wanted. And we did it. Awesome. Let's keep going. 